Hello and welcome to Wednesday Word. I'm John. I want to discuss today my coming to faith. Apologies for the hats, my hair is very long now because of lockdown, so it's best to keep it under wraps. I was born and raised a Catholic, so I was, was born into the church, but I had a very limited relationship. I just knew, followed the rules. I prayed for key moments in life, usually for exams. It was very ad hoc. I studied maths at uni, and I found that, by accident really for myself, the, the models of planetary orbits, the predator prey models, and other models we found when it's to do with life, we found it to be, I found it to be so fragile and beautiful, it just had to be a god. So it was lovely to see it in the maths, personally. About four and a half years ago, I attended the APC. Almost immediately, a family member became ill, and the church reached out, reached out even visited her in hospital, which was hugely warming. It wasn't long before we were challenged into the marriage course, beneficial again. Communication it was definitely the thing that I found the best. Shortly after that, we further ingrained into the church with the prayer group. The group I'm in at the moment, fantastic. Luckily, they all have a solid understanding of the Bible, apart from myself. And it's, I was amazed how little I actually remembered from the Bible because I actually went to Catholic school. So it's a bit embarrassing. But the with the increased frequency and focus of the prayer, which we're now doing and the engaging questions in class, it's just been fantastic. It wasn't long after that that we went to the Alpha course and that stressed from the outset a loving personal connection, which I've never had and never thought about really. It was all this superficial really, now we're thinking about it. They advised ask, ask to actually ask for the Holy Spirit to fill you every morning. And immediately when I did, I felt different. I felt I needed to spend more time with God to actually carve out part of the day for him. I never felt I had enough time before. And by doing that, um, with the, one of the weeks, it was about reading and understanding the Bible. I've read four of the Gospels, and John was my favourite. I just love the optimism for the way it finishes, and the way the relationships, where they, where they talk in the passages. It just reads very well for a book. I loved it. Reading it back to back in just a few sittings, it helped ingrain the message and how, how Jesus' life was instead of just isolated parts. After the Alpha finished, a small, smaller group went into the Beta group, but that was stopped quite quickly because of lockdown. So the group agreed to download a version app, a Bible app, on our phones. We signed up for a course called How to Pray, and we added our own prayers and cheered each other on. It was great. We carried on with that and been following that most days because they have they actually put new material on every day. And now this year, I've, I've enrolled in the Bible in one year by the actually the Alpha course, the Alpha course guy called Mike Nicky Gumble. So I'm following that. That's brilliant. Certainly helping my knowledge anyway. The outcomes of all of this, most days I have time for God, whereas I never thought I would actually have that. I'm actively thinking now how a Christian would act before I do something. And I'm able to forgive far more easily than I've done before because I always found it very difficult. I'm also a positive, happier, and I also feel younger. I know that God loves me when I never even gave that a second thought before. I feel that if the church had not persistently bring, been bringing me into the community, I may have never come to faith. This is the reason why I've called this a crystallization of faith, because it took me so long to finally get here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in church sometime and God bless you all. Have a good week. Bye.